Henry Gillard Glendoni's John D, who stands before Queen Elizabeth the first. This is a late Victorian oil from the Wellcome collection, which was on display a few years ago at the D exhibitions in London. And I'm not sure whether it also featured in the Edinburgh exhibition as well. One presumes um, that there isn't much going on here, just D demonstrating some nice indoor fireworks. But now with the aid of X-ray, the painting reveals much more that was eventually painted over by Glendoni. The hidden bits show a circle of skulls and several alchemical vessels, and possibly even Edward Kelly himself, who is given a more prominent role in the work before it was painted over by Glendoni. But what was, or, what, or why was Kelly painted over? As I reveal in my Kelly book, Kelly had been described by A.F. Pollard, who was an important Tudor historian of the 19th century, uh, as a notorious necromancer, and as such features in Pollard's Twelve Bad Men of England. That's perhaps the reason that Glendoni painted over um, Dee's magic and Kelly. Um, was the fact that the two men were not accepted by Victorian society. Um, so therein lies a problem. Let's go back in time. Another yet important little known fact about John Dee, born on the 13th of July, 1527 and died 1609, is his secret association with the Familia Caritatis, that is the family of love, where the motto still serves Laboria Constantia, labour and perseverance, and should ring some bells for anyone who is interested in Uncle Al's title Perdurabo. As we know, Dee was an avid collector of occult, mathematical, geographical and alchemical books, along with other esoteric ephemera and paraphernalia, thus making him a true 16th century polyglot and indeed magi. Dee's diary entry at Mortlake for 1582 mentions his first meeting with Kelly. It says March the 9th, Friday at dinner time, Mr Clarkson and Mr Talbot. Kelly is introduced to Dee as one Mr Talbot, Originally, as I believe, to be employed for alchemical work. For Dee, who had recently returned from abroad, had with him much alchemical equipment and was indeed keen to employ the services of Kelly. But, as we know, Dee would use Kelly more particularly as his scryer. So, let the magic in the alchemy begin. <laughs> 